Welcome to the sixth annual GPCA Forum here in Dubai. I'm talking to Mr. Mohamed Al Mahdi, Chairman of GPCA and Vice Chairman and CEO of SABIC. Mr. Al Mahdi, GPCA is a relatively young organization, but could you tell me its achievements so far and what you see the future developments will be? Well, we, we're quite uh, happy with our progress. We have uh, now uh, established GPCA as the flagship of associations uh, in the Middle East. And uh, uh, for example, uh, this year our uh, members is around 180 members. We're gathering uh, attendees for this forum is around uh, 1,600 people, which is remarkable uh, growth over the past six years. Uh, actually, where we are really uh, proud is about our contribution to environmental issues, we are now uh, finishing uh, our, in, in our members uh, establishing uh, responsible care. And we are in the process also of initiating uh, 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 su sustainability. Uh, you know, sustainability is so important now in our industry, not only in processes, but also in materials. And we are uh, spreading this uh, uh, philosophy within our association. So we are proud not only networking for our members, but also uh, enriching the knowledge of the association. And now, turning to SABIC, could you tell me what your strategy is now and how that's developing? Well, SABIC is continuing its uh, executing its strategy. We, uh, of course, uh, now we are, uh, uh, we have a good uh, presence in, uh, in, in the Far East, especially in China. And we are, uh, uh, we have already a good presence in Europe, and we are looking for possibilities to look for in the Americas and also in India and other places where we, we have only a small presence, and our presence really is limited to engineering plastic, which we would like to go beyond engineering plastic into uh, commodity petrochemicals. So SABIC is growing everywhere. And we are uh, looking for the future with really good uh, results. Could you just explain where the bulk of the investment will be now for SABIC? Will it remain in the Middle East or are you looking at other parts of the world? Well, so far our uh, uh, presence in, in, in Saudi Arabia represents about 50% of our operation. The other 50% is global. And uh, we are a global company. We are going to... Uh, build our capacity where we can find raw materials and we find markets uh, because the company now is, is a global company. The theme of this year's event is the move downstream by the petrochemicals industry in the Middle East. Can you tell me why that's important to producers here and what the main drivers are? Uh, we are moving downstream for uh, two reasons. Number one is to add value to our products. Uh, we are now building uh, intermediate products and also downstream product. We want to make this product available for our customers here in the kingdom. And by doing so, we are helping to create jobs because these type of products, they are capital intensive, uh, but also they, are, uh, they require uh, very uh, advanced technologies. And we are working uh, with uh, other company to Im import the technology required for this downstream. And we have succeeded uh, somewhat in bringing some new technologies to the kingdom. So we really invite uh, petrochemical companies who are in the downstream to come and partner with us or with others because uh, we have a very good infrastructure in the kingdom. We have good financing schemes. And we have the raw material required to make the downstream. Thank you very much.